<laughs> okay, folks, we have a problem. <laughs> we have a problem. We've been we, trying to hold it together. Yes, we have regional executive chef for Delaware North, Stephen Foreman, Yay. with us this morning. And I know you see what's in front of us. We're not going to talk about these recipes just yet because, yes, you are getting them. Mm -hmm. We have to learn about the man behind the food first. Welcome. Hello. Hey, Hello. Love Hello. your bills gear. Thank you. <laughs> you represent. Still repping the bills. Listen, yeah. regardless, I mean, they're still great. So yes. Yes, go they Bills. Yes, are. Go Bills. So tell everybody um, who, what you oversee. Give everybody yep. the scope. So in my role as the regional executive chef for Delaware North, I oversee the culinary staff that uh, works at the uh, Highmark Stadium, Bill Stadium, the uh, Sabres Arena, Key Bank Center Arena, and then the Blue Cross Arena where the Amherst play out in Rochester. Oh my gosh, that's a lot. How yeah. do you uh, do that? That I'll seems be honest like a lot. With you. Uh, listen, <laughs> my job is become simpler because I have a great team. Mm -hmm. oh. I'll be honest with you. I have a shout out this, to the team. Yeah, yeah, for real, all of them, the staff. Um, you know, everybody works very hard, and um, you know, we all come together. And you know, it requires you to make sure you're fostering, coaching, and mentoring your yep. staff, making sure they have the tools that they need to be successful. And then, you know, so at Delaware North, that's what we strive to do. So I have a phenomenal team at all of my units. They do excellent work. I'm curious, how many folks is that? Sheesh, I would hundreds? say, yeah, hundreds, still oh hundreds, goodness, easy. Yeah. But again, I, you know, I can do my job because the people that report to me are doing yep. their job, and the people that report to them are doing their job, so it all transcends down, and so everybody's working together, yeah. and it's great. Can I ask a Mercedes question real fast? Yeah. Because Mercedes has a ton of questions, but what made you fall in love with food? <laughs> Great question. So here's the question. Yes, uh, yes. I, don't, I think I've told you already. I don't yeah. know. I can't remember. Uh, when I was in eighth grade, my social studies teacher gave all of us in the class a recipe, and she gave me uh, snickerdoodles. Yep. So I went home. I t said to my mother, "Mom, you gotta show me how to make these cookies. We gotta bring them in tomorrow for the for the class." She showed me how to scale. She taught me how to measure everything, and um, I brought them to school. Everybody loved them. I was like, "I'm in." So every day for one full year after that, I made snickerdoodle cookies until every my day. father came home and said, "Don't make." Another one. Oh my God. I would have loved to have been your friend. I would have loved I love to have been. Snickerdoodles. Yeah, yes. no, it's great oh cooking. So, and now you mentor. Yes. Yep. I uh, mentor a couple of groups, but uh, specifically at my church, we have a career development mentoring your attitude uh, program, and we mentor kids, uh, making sure they have those soft skills, those professional skills, and help them to use them in school because school is like a job. Mm -hmm. Teachers, your boss, right. your students, their peers, our coworkers, uh -huh. and so we try to help them understand dealing with conflict, being responsible. Oh. Showing up and having accountability, knowing how to articulate, communicate yourself, even doing an interview, explaining to them all those things on how to be very confident with yourself when you go after a job. Knowing where you started yeah. with food actually makes me happy that you do this now. Yeah. Because you know right. that the love of, yep. of whatever you do yep. starts at an early age. Very early. These kids are passionate. But a lot of them are passionate for the wrong thing. And if you get in their life, you can direct them in a good way. I must say it's very hard to do this segment because if you smell, if you I'm about to bite one of those. I'm about to take one of those right and start now. eating. I'm sorry. I I'm telling just do you. That. Really quick, tell everybody about Time and Honey. All right, so Time and Honey started when I, during COVID. We were all put on furlough and um, I was at home. I'm a very passionate person. I'm a very aggressive. I love to stay busy. And I was driving my whole family crazy. Nope. And my wife said, you better do something with yourself before I throw you out the house. So I said, <laughs> So I said, babe, let's go downstairs. Let's do uh, get in the kitchen. Videotape me doing something, you know, cooking. I'll do it live on Facebook. So I did it. All of my friends were like, oh, my God, that was awesome. That was great. And so I started doing them every Thursday. Next thing you know, I just created a company called Time and Honey. Oh, yeah. look at that. Yeah. And we're, we're going to be talking more about that and this food in just a bit. We're just going to take a happen. quick break, but we will be right back. So don't go anywhere. You're watching yes. AM Buffalo. I'm so ready to eat this food.